Welcome to Toffee TV. It's three things from Everton 3, Salford City Mill at Goodison Park tonight in the Carabao Cup. Let's get into it. First thing I'm going to talk about is Michael Keane tonight. I thought he was a very, very good. OK, people will turn around and say, well, what was he up against? But it's, it's not really about that. It's about him leading by example. He was the only surviving member of the team that won at the weekend. Carlo Ancelotti made 10 changes and Michael Keane was the one that stayed in and he set the tempo really with a, a good header after eight minutes to get us up and running. And I just thought he defended well and, you know, got us through the game quite comfortably at the back. Um, limited Salford to very little really. Uh, obviously, at the start of the game alongside Jared Branthwaite, Branthwaite went off injured and Luca Dean come on and Luca Dean's a role, you know, he's a, he's a, I'm not going to use that, that phrase, I've used that in the past. Luca Dean is a fantastic football and he proved it again. Um, he could play with his flip-flops on probably, but Keane alongside him, just total control. He's, he's had a really good post-lockdown, Michael Keane, and he's come back and responded really well again this season. Obviously, went away with England um, and his comeback was excellent at Spurs at the weekend and was really good again tonight. And I think, you know, at times you criticised him when he's, his confidence has gone or he's, he's had poor performances, but I just thought he was very good tonight, really, and he was one of the... One of the few seniors in the team, I think, who really showed, you know, a good level as well. So that's that's the first thing I thought he deserved a little bit of praise. The uh, second thing I want to talk about is the players who've come in tonight, particularly in midfield, um, have shown why Carlo Ancelotti, I think, was desperate to go out and get the three players that he did. Certainly Alan and Decore. Um Guilty Sigurdsson, man of the match tonight, according to uh, Jamie Carragher. I thought he'd done okay, Gilfie. I, I wouldn't question his commitment. I wouldn't question as a professional. And I think he has got some lovely technical ability. He put a fantastic ball in for Moise Keane at the bar. But just sometimes he's a little bit too safe. He gives the ball, you know, it's a it's a back pass just to keep it away from him. I think he needs to do a little bit more, be a little bit uh, more dominant in possession in terms of getting us going. We've seen at the weekend the difference in, say, someone like Alan. Or someone like the Corey, even Andre Gomez, want to get on the ball and take us forward a little bit. And I think sometimes Gilfie's a little bit too safe. I don't know whether it's, I don't know, I don't know what it is with him because he, we know he can shoot. You know, he's hit the post tonight with a shot. He's, um, you know, wrapped the game up for us at 2 0. So we know he's got that. Tom Davis come in and he was okay, but again, just too safe, too slow at times, that midfield. Bernard's another one, lovely technical footballer. But I don't know, safe again, really. Or It was just you could see that the slowness in which they are in possession. It's lazy, almost lazy passing it. There's no dynamism. And I think that's why it was a flashback to last season at times, that midfield tonight. Uh, and we saw a guest the new at the weekend, which was going forward, you know, all of them trying to play vertical passes tonight. It was all safe now. So, you know, for all I know, Carlo Ancelotti might turn around to me and say, I told us to play like that. It was keep possession, move them around. Fair enough. But I just think it was, a, I just think at times we can be a little bit more progressive up the pitch. Those three players can do it. And the safety aspect of it, I just don't think it quite worked. Um, Walcott's another one. I think he's got a lot more to offer. He's not doing it. Uh, Anthony Gordon, I, I don't think it's enough for the one to try with Anthony Gordon. I just don't think it, it worked out for him for the first hour tonight. And then he really, the last 20, 25 minutes, he got into his stride and showed us the ability that he's got. And cutting in onto that right foot, the shot that at the post was great. Obviously, he had an assist. But I just think they've got to do an awful lot more if they're given chances because we'll, we'll revert to the way we were last season with those players coming in if they don't step their level up. And the final thing, I'm going to finish on a real positive, and that is Niels and Kunku, who I said on the Matriax, and I thought he was our best player tonight. Um, because it was his debut, uh, because he was always positive, I thought defensively he was fine, um, and I thought he always looked like he was going to create something for us. And to get him for, what, 240 grand, I know that at times... You know, we've criticised the club for paying big money, albeit we paid ridiculous money more so before Marcel Brands come in. But I just feel as though, you know, Marcel Brands deserves credit for, for this because it's a, he looks like he's got a lot of a, a lot of the right tools that you need in the Premier League. He's a big lad, he's quick, good on the ball, good technique. And I thought he'd done excellent tonight to come in and 
we saw Leighton Baines in the stand, you know, and, and we would have had Leighton Baines probably would have played tonight had he still been at the club um, in as a player. I know he's back at the club. But Niels and Kunku come in to play with the 23s this year to adjust to English football. And because of the situation with Baines, he's, he's been moved into the first team and, and Carlo Ancelotti has kept them there and he played tonight and I thought he was excellent. And I'm, I'm guessing that he'll probably play a Fleetwood next week as well. He's got all the right tools. So I think he was the real plus point tonight. Um, for me, I thought he was really good. So, yeah, that's, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Anything you disagree with what I've said? With, on the midfield, was it, were you just pleased with we had the control of ice? Am I getting it wrong that I wanted them to be a bit more dynamic, a little bit more attacking? Uh, and and Kunko, are, are you pleased with what you've seen of him so far? Let me know in the comments section below. Make sure you subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. And if you want more videos, join us on Patreon. Don't forget to check out Ped's Match Reaction and his player ratings as well. Thanks for watching. See you later.